Всем привет, добро пожаловать на YouTube канал Вул Хокей. В этом видео мы посмотрим обзор матча четвертьфинала Кубка Мира 2004 года между сборной России и США. Это была уже вторая встреча данных команд на турнире. В первой игре на групповом этапе команда Зенитулы Беллидинова держала победу со счетом 3-1. Несмотря на то, что сборная России перед началом турнира не считалась фаворитом, россияне неплохо сыграли на групповом этапе, обыграв США и Словакию, при этом уступив Канаде. По разным причинам сборная не досчиталась Хабибулина, Федорова, Данила Маркова, Жамнова, Валерия Буре, Вячеслава Козлова, Сергея Брылина и, конечно же, одного из лучших российских защитников того времени Сергея Зубова. В то же время в команде хватало хоккеистов экстра-класса. Яшин, Ковалев, Ковальчук, Гончар, Каспарайти, Софиногенов, Дацук, Самсонов и 18-летний Александр Овечкин, которому было приковано пристальное внимание североамериканских болельщиков и специалистов, ведь это был его первый турнир против анхайловцев. У американцев была довольно возрастная команда. С победного состава Кубка мира 1996 года на турнире в 2004 году участвовало аж 12 хоккеистов, а средний возраст команды составлял почти 32 года. Сборная США одержала лишь одну победу над Словакией в группе, уступив канадцам и россиянам. Матч между сборной России и США состоялся 7 сентября 2004 года на Excel Energy Center в Миннесоте. Посмотреть перевод интервью Алексея Яшина и Майка Мадана вы можете включить в субтитры. Алексей Яшин, капитан Team Russia, also playing for the New York Islanders, but now it's about Russia. You guys surprised a lot of us. We all thought you would play a run and gun style, and you got such a young team. You're more patient, you're more defensive. Was that a tough sell for you and the rest of the coaching staff to really get into these young guys' heads that this is how you win? No, I don't think it's uh, it's really tough because everybody almost play in uh, North America and uh, it's North American style. It's drop in the neutral zone. It's a lot of team plays this way and uh, we just try to copy and play as hard as we can for each other and we will see what happens. A lot of players for Russia that were invited said no thank you, including Nikolai Habibulin of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Did you ever consider saying no when the invitation for you came? No, from my personal appearance, uh, like uh, I always like to play for my country, for our fans and they deserve to see some great hockey. And, Some guys didn't want to play, we, we can't blame them, but uh, everybody who's in the dressing room and uh, they want to uh, fight for our country, it's, uh, it's great to see and uh, hopefully we can play some great hockey. Like I say, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That's it for Team Russia. Let's go over to Team USA and Gary. Bill, thanks very much. Mike Madonna, what have you got to do differently tonight from the first game against Russia? Well, a lot, uh, a lot smarter. I think we, we got caught running around. We tried to over-pursue on the forecheck. We were over-backchecking. We just create a lot of a lot of gap in our game in a neutral zone, and they're just uh, they're great one-on-one -on -one players, and they're great when they have a lot of room and space. So we have to play a little better positionally with some good pressure, but still be smart, realize who's on the ice, and try to take their time and face away. What's happened in the first period? They've not been very good so far for this team. Well, I don't know. Hopefully, we can change that tonight because uh, this is when it counts. This is elimination time, and this is when everything, every little play counts. Shots, plays at the blue lines, just smart things that can uh, help us uh, continue on in this tournament. But uh, obviously our starts have been bad, so hopefully we can get some good shots early and get the ball rolling going early. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thanks, Jay. David Berry, thanks very much and welcome as we get set to go. And I don't think there was any question that the issue made was about how simply not playing well, not with much fire and not getting it done. Well, you know, it's it's unfortunate for Brett, and he knows he'll be the first one to sit there and say that I wasn't playing well, and I know it's embarrassing that he's not sitting out. He's had some problems, but I know Brett Hall's going to bounce back. In the, uh... All right, we are underway as Team USA and Russia go at it for the second time. Russia won the first meeting, of course, taken by Kovalev. Here's Kovalev, who had that spectacular goal Jeremy Roenick was talking about earlier, and this is where they break out. Kovalev's going to the front shot, Ish! with the first big save of the game on Kozlov. One of the reasons why they suffered in the first two games they played as Team USA has won but one game out of the first three, but it doesn't matter if you win here. Little opening. Kachuk back on the save. Chris Galoff on Kate oh, Kachuk. Ryan Leach right back to Connor Walchuk who sends it in. Help Brent Connor Walchuk up ice with Jamie Langenbrunner. The blind line. There's yeah. a mighty pain in the butt line right now. That's what I'm going to call him. And Langenbrunner's really been wheeling and dealing out in front of that net trying to find a little room. Pavel Chuck, number 71, cleared that one up. It'll be moved back through centers. Team USA four lined up. Interception down low. Shot. That one went off the shoulder and high call. Chuck with a chance. Putting this together and that is not an easy task. It means he doesn't get an off season. Well, of course, the looming lockout that unfortunately may come a little bit later. Backhander. Oh, it's gone! Keeps it shot! But check it out, a flexion of a Madonna backhander! Oh, what, just what the doctor ordered! Keep the check going to the net. Mike Madonna throwing the puck to the net. And what a great shot. A backhand. It is
just so hard to get some velocity on the back end, but Mike down goes to the net, keep the jump grinding, tips it in. What a great start for USA. Well, this is what had to happen. The veterans, especially this Mike Madonna line, had to lead by example and had to lead offensively. Mike Madonna with a little step into the middle and a backhand shot that came through a screen. What a tip! Keith Kachuk! Without that tip, that goal does not make it. A beautiful tip. Kachuk gets his second goal of World Cup action. That is the first goal Team USA has had in the first period in the four games they have played in this tournament to try and get the puck out of the zone. But Russia has not found a way to get through center ice. They have one shot, one shot with 6.16 to go in the first period. And I think the frustration is setting in. Setting in. You can see their feet aren't moving. The stuff is starting to let the puck do the work for them. they got to get their feet moving and the USA is going to continue to dominate this game. Blake coming back in to help Kasparitis on the high flip to the far side. Chelio stepped up, could not get to it. Good backup coverage by Chris Drury. Drury got back there as Chelios got caught up ice. And Drury is the only reason Chelios pinched in. Knew he was there. Good, good help on that. Played in behind the net again. Blake doing battle. Blake 55 in white. Another Minnesota native getting into the lineup as he's made a couple of starts. Aaron Miller shot behind the net. Blake backhander side of the post. Oh. Held on to by Brzgarlov. That's Billy Garen. Garen knocks it back in behind the net. Brzgarlov wanted to reach it. Could not. Had we backhanded up over Madano's head out through center. Here comes Kozlov. Victor Kozlov will move it in. Kozlov. There's Leach. Kozlov got it back. Kozlov wants a wraparound. Kozlov looking into the middle. Sends it. Shot. Fan on. Oh, what a chance right there. Wide open was Kovalev, their high scorer. Kovalev goes back in behind the net. Kovalev hit that right off the heel shot. That one got deflected to the near side. What a job by Kovalev to keep that puck alive. Back in behind the net. They're looking. Somebody without a stick. Team USA. Somebody lost one out there. Backhander. That's going to be covered up by Ash. Wow. As play for most of this period has taken place between the blue. And again, I've dropped that one off. Looking to the near side, got blocked. Kasparitis had a poke checked away to center. Good play defensively for Doug Waite that time. Back on side, down low. What a move! What a, what a save. save! Great save! Flicked it into the corner. Datsuk, Pavel Datsuk of the Detroit Red Wings. A great save. Plus, he was screened. He had no idea that the puck was coming, but he was he was just right there. Got down in the ice because he knew that the puck couldn't be up, up top. Kovalev brings it in. Team USA challenging as they come out to get it. Dumped it back deeper into the zone. Kozlov on a power play as well. That one is cleared, however. Kovalev, a forward, working the point on the power play. Look at this God. guy's skate. Kovalev dished it off. Came into the middle. Bouncing puck through Esch. Rebounded back in behind the net collision as Zubris went in with Esch and then moved away, though, so the collision was only minor. And Team USA trying to clear. Bounce it right out in front. It'll come back onto the near side point. Break. Kovalev sends it into the corner. Shot. That got deflected to the near side. Redirected. Yashin was over there trying to redirect that puck. Again, shot. Ash save. Rebound. Bounced up in the air. Side of the net. Three chances to end the period. Zubris with the last one. 26 left on the power play. Boy, is he a steady player. Absolutely. I mean, the New Jersey Devils have a gem in this Minnesota native, Paul Martin. He doesn't do anything really flashy offensively or defensively. He's just really good. You take this Russian team, they've got uh, seven players that never played in the NHL. Billy Garen trying to knock it down. Kasparitis, Madonna set it up. Oh, yes, scores! Keith Kachuk, second of the game. Billy Garen, the setup. Wow, is this line hot? Did you see the work that Mike Medano did? First of all, to get over the blue line and keep his foot and keep his foot and keep the play going. Then what a pass in front to Keith Kachuk. And where is he again, Bill? Well, we talked about commitment. He's in front of the net. Yes, sir. But this line is so committed to working hard. Mike Madonna and Billy Guerin down low. Look at Billy Guerin stay all over this. He had to get it by two guys, Kovalev and Kasparitis. The coverage was late getting to Keith Kachuk. So hard work combined with skill and talent. What do you get? You get two goals for the line of Madonna, Guerin, and Kachuk. Well, a little bit better every game, huh? Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, he's in full midseason form. And remember what Ron Wilson, coach of Team USA, Bill, said to us this morning. Back at it, Rizgalov able to knock it away, and then... Good down they ball go. again. Here we go. Here. Power play USA. I wonder if they're going to call goalie interference, though. Yeah. They both oh, got their yeah. arms up. I mean, Brad Watson was behind the net. This will be interesting to see. Well, they got to look at who did it. Oh, I agree. I number mean... 11, Kasparitis. <laughs> look who's in front. There he is right there. You know who's guilty just by seeing number 11. 
It's Gasparitis. He's Brother? so tough in front of that net. Brother, you're preaching to the choir, but the wrong choir. Oh. <laughs> Looked like uh, Blake got driven in by Gasparitis from behind, which he did. Watch this high stick right here. Casparitis as he took ooh oh. on he raked Chris Drury. I'll tell you what, that Casparitis is such a hard-nosed player. God, no. you, now you see why guys don't like playing against him in the league. Here's the play. And by the way, the right choir heard the message, and that was the choir of Paul Dvorsky and Brad Watson. In front of the net. Sure. And they have. And that's that's where the commitment comes in. You've got to be committed to taking a beating in those areas. If you're not, you're not going to go there. They've done that. Team USA is uh, on top. Short-handed now. Alexa Yashin. Yashin in. Fakes, takes. No! no! The stick was up in the air to knock it down. He's smiling about it. If he could get away with it, he would. That was a pretty good play by Frolov. But there's a penalty being called here, too. A hooking penalty by Brad Watson. On Team USA. You bet. Alexei Ashen decided not to go with the slap shot. Look at this for a weird play. Think that was high? Just by a stick length. <laughs> over the shoulder, over the crossbar, over everybody's head. No argument about that one. But we will go four on four. Team USA loses their power play. Only 17 seconds worth of it. You see him looking up at the overhead screen. Frolov was just to see what that thing looked like. And he found out Rafalski hooking at 356. And I, I, I doubt that the Players Association would allow that Excuse to happen. Excuse me, Bob Goodenow's on the phone. Wanted to talk to JR. That welcome welcome to the year 2004. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Vizdevsky leaves it off on the near side. This is still a four on four. Back out onto the D. Shot ripped high. Vizdevsky had the opportunity. Move back to Klee on the far side. Klee will leave it for Billy Guerin. This is not a power play. Looks like it though. Looking into the corner. Chelios another chance. Got blocked out deep. And Russia will turn it up. Ice penalty coming up behind the play. In all alone on a delayed whistle. And scores! What Big shot. goal right there. Dmitry Fedosaykov on a delayed is on the board it's two to one what a great pass this is what i'm talking about a three on two and one pass and the guys in all alone they just find a way to feather these pucks watch this little feather pass three on two little feather pass all by himself and a great shot to s stick side but a little too anxious for the mike madonna line all three of them in deep that allowed three russians to take off against the two u.s defensemen an odd man rush perfectly executed and robert esch beaten for the first time in this game. And they're right back in it now. Sure that, thing. That's a big goal. It was about doing something for the team. And you know what? There are a lot of guys that are even too cheap to think about doing that, no matter how much money they make. He was not. And uh, that one. What a oh, save. save made off Drury's chance. Grace Galoff has been impressive in the games we have seen him play, and he's been in two of them. Move back through the middle by Blake. Blake to Minnesota and in. Shot. Oh, penalty, penalty shot. Coming to late call. Penalty, penalty shot. 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 Most exciting play in hockey. I love this. Most exciting play in sports. Here we go. We and need I think this in the National Hockey League after games. Did you hear that too, Gary? I heard that. This is going to be the first penalty shot of the tournament, either in North America or in Europe. And it's being taken by a Moorhead, Minnesota native, Jason Blake of the New York Islanders. What's he going to do, guys? What do you think? I say five hole. I think up. Right shoulder. Right shoulder. I think he's going right between his legs. Go with the safe bet. What do you say, Bill? I say go in and look for the five fold. If it isn't there, pull it to the backhand and go shelf. We're going to find out. Got Blake moving in. Brisgala. Oh, a save by Brisgala. He came out and met him and did not give Blake any room. And Blake got too close to do anything but try and put it through on the ice. Well, this is this is what guys try to do in the National Hockey League a lot. They try to come in, they try to make the goaltender commit to one side, and then they throw it back between the goalie's legs. Flipped up on him, though, watch. Right? See how the other puck flipped up on him before he even got the shot off. And a great play by the goaltender to stick his stick out and negate the shot. Big chance on a penalty shot coming here in the second period. Here's a shot. Save oh. made on a deflection. May have gone off the stick. And why Jamie Langebrunner was open. Langebrunner comes back to pick it up. Leaves it on a point. Team USA really putting some firepower on here in the period. Langenbrunner, Hellbrunt, Connor Walchuk. That's Langenbrunner. Langenbrunner taken down in behind the net. Big pile up back there with... Oh, what a... Oh, what a shot into the middle. Oh. That got deflected on a block. Turn around chance by 
Brandon Miller dumped it in behind the net. Halperin. Halperin right back up. Big hit put on. Kozlov was in behind the net. Kovalev hit him, though. Sends it off. Got it up to Alexei Yashin. Yashin got knocked off the puck. Team USA moves it. Shots are 10-10. This has not been a game filled with many shots. It has hits. Chelios, Zubras on the near side. But it doesn't Alexei, matter. They're going to play anyway. Alexei Kovalev is. That is who steamrolled oh, Jeff Halpern in the hit. corner. And then Dinah Zubras. The Russians are upping the ante in a physical sense. They're not going to back away here. The goal by Afanasenkov is first of the tournament. Jabarov and Gonchar got the assist. Wait, trying to turn it. Did right off the goaltender's stick, and he never saw it. Brzgalov had the stick of the ice, and that's what he hit. Played by Amadi. Amadi looking into the middle. Shot. Brzgalov again. And again, he covers it up. And Jabarov is over there to play it out of the zone. Russia's trying to wind it up at center and get through. Blake dropped a great pass shot. Deflected off the body and trickles in on Brizgarlov. Can't be controlled. And Dots have tried to knock that one down. Russia gets it right back into the zone again. And again, Oz playing the heck out of it. Shot oh, just what a save. What a chance. He got a piece of that. Kovalchuk did. Kovalchuk was coming through the middle and just diving and redirected that one and knocked it away. I think his skates were off the ice when he got it with his stick. He was airborne. They are scary when they get going. Here's the play. Effing again off of the Buffalo Sabres. Got himself a little room. And Kovalchuk oh. in midair. Did Ash get a piece of that? Ash got a piece just of it. What a great of it. save of it. He got a big piece of it. Went right in the corner. Great play by both players. Wow. Into the middle. It got deflected. Two on two the other way for a moment. Jabarov will move it up. Jabarov trying to go oh. through. Check missed. It's whistled. Offside oh. here. And Kachuk's all right. Wow. Well, he was doing his Darius Kasparitis impression. I don't know. Who, I don't know who was in the more trouble there. Keith or Chabarov. Keith just missed getting a piece of him and got, geez, he just got the worst of this. One there and then again into the boards here. Oh, that was close. He backed up looking like he was going to be a defenseman and said, no, I, I like body contact. I'm not going to back up. Went back into it and then went sliding along the boards. Team USA has it. 18 seconds left to go in the power play. Scott Gomez has come out on the power play unit. He'll move it into the zone, take the shot, save made, and a nice stick move. Brzgalov let that one go a little further than he wanted, so he pulled it back in and held on with 10 to go in the advantage. Vizneski's not leaving the ice. This is where USA really needs Dougie Wade. Dougie Wade's played four, three games right now, and he has no points. And I know that USA... Oh! Martin open save made Brzgalov. Martin was screaming down the left wing side here tonight in St. Paul. Kachuk has led this team with two goals. He's also had four shots to lead Team USA. I think also the U.S. really, really right now has to make sure that they don't sit back. It's the worst thing they can do. Uh, like there is this three on two down low. Oh. Score! Zobras! And this game is tied! I shouldn't have opened my mouth, but I did. What a great pass. What a great goal. A little turnover on the blue line, and that's how these guys transition. One pass, two pass in the net. We've said about Team Russia since this tournament began. Some of the most explosive forwards on the planet. And when you make mistakes against them, especially in the neutral zone, this is what happens. Ryan Leach got caught up and Halper didn't back him up. Dana Subas, watch this. Look at him just turn and get ready for the pass again. Makes a pass over, turns back, gets ready for the one-time shot, and he just puts a stick down. Easy goal for Zubris. He had 12 goals with Washington this past season. He's got a goal here, and this game is tied at 2-2, and it comes in the first minute of the third period. Centering pass, block. Ovechkin, the extra number eight block. That sent back for Wade. Kasparaitis right there with him. The assist went to Yashin on the goal by Zubris to tie it up at 2-2 here in the third period. And again, U.S. right after a goal responds. They come back and take the play back to them. Don't let Russia get confident. They get a goal, they take it Samsonov right back. Samsonov coming in. Samsonov centered. Shot deflected oh. in a pile. Team USA gets a break on that one. Samsonov has had a couple of shots in the game. Set that one up. Jammed up in the air by Drury just to get a change. And now it gets real tense. Yashin brings his line out. Turnover. Kachuk making for the hat trick. Penalty coming. Shot blocked. Goal! turnovers are you going to have until you learn can't turn the puck over the blue and that's like four or five in a row finally u.s makes him pay there was keith kachuk that ended up with the puck after the turnover had been forced by scott gomez and gomez actually spun around 
and made a beeline for the net. That's why you go to the net under the arm of Brees Galloff and Team USA has regained the lead. God, is Keith Kachuk a man possessed tonight or what? Well, Gomez created the turnover that Keith Kachuk picked up, so together they were brilliant together on the play. Great game underway here. That one banged to the near side wall. 3-2. Team USA back on top. If I can try to line that one up, Billy Garen. Garen's got Madonna and Kachuk. Three on two. Moves it into the middle. Dropped it. Garen looking. The play to score! play that just happened. Keith Kachuk with the hat trick. Look at Billy. Look at this guy. Look at Mike Madonna right back. Keith going to the net. Hat trick! Keith Kachuk! And, and I'll tell you what sacrifice is all about. Billy Garen's a shooter. He thinks shoot first almost all the time. When it counted the most, Billy Garen thought about passing to Keith Kachuk. That is the first hat trick that has been scored in this World Cup of Hockey this year. Kachuk has three, Team USA two goals in a matter of 22 seconds. Has taken a 4-2 lead, and it comes right on the heels of the Russian goal that tied it. You talk about grabbing a game by the throat. Keith Kachuk got out there on this goal with his regular line mate. Scott Gomez was out with him on the goal right before this one because Gomez hadn't made his change yet. Datsuk heads to the middle. Centering pass gets blocked. Cleared up, not out. Tavadorsky held it in over to Datsuk. Datsuk. A little pushing and shoving down low. Not a lot, though. Again, looking. Datsuk. That's it. They're letting him hold the puck and not doing anything with it. Havidov sends it in behind the net. Prolog. Prolog. They don't have anybody in front of the power play right now. Havidov drops it. Now Datsuk goes there. Turnaround. Save made by Esch. Just trying to jam it home. Davidorski again. They go back up on top looking. Shot there. Save made. Rebound. Oh, save by Esch. Wow. Rebound still loose. Datsuk trying to find it. It's covered. Oh, man. Wow. What a left pad save by Robert Esch. Well, I'll tell you what, if you, if you ask Robert Esch who you want on, on the ice, he's going to want someone from the New Jersey Devils. Score! Yeah. A one-timer from the left side that went through a screen, and it is a one-goal game, and Kovalchuk, who had 41 regular season goals, makes it 4-3. You mentioned he was going to be parked over there. That's the first time they were able to get the puck to him. And it comes with 2.51 left on the penalty clock. So that power play, they're going to continue it. But just what I said earlier in the earlier power play, they're going to try to get that puck over to Kovalchuk all wound up on that right side. And he let it go. He's going to let it go from everywhere. And it just seemed to sneak by Robert Esch's pads. But that's a key, Gary. They got one during the first minor. And that means now they've got another full two to go. Yep. Now they put it to two minutes, of course. And uh, the power play continues here. The second power play. Samsonov drops it off. And that's going to be whistled. It was brought in offside. One guy can go coast to coast from end to end, beat everybody twice, and score a goal. I hate it when he's on the ice against me. Now let's see if Russia can come back and get another. Power play still underway. Ash had to knock that one away. It goes up into the top as Kovalchuk again out there. And Chelios moved it around. Now that was the thinking man's play. So with Chris Chelios, you can get the brute strength, the tenacity of the junkyard dog, or you can get the genius play like you just made. What a finish we've got for you here with 7-10 to go in this game, with one team moving on to the semifinals and one going home. Russia's still got nine on the power play. But no matter what, they've made it a one-goal game here. They try and get it set up in front, spinning Kozlov. Kozlov tied up, pushed to the point. Good play to hold it in. Penalty is over. Leach is back out on the ice. Into the middle. Shot. Save Ash. Look behind him, but he's got it. Kovalchuk trying to tie it up. It's a 4-3 lead. Russia will try and put a little more heat on here as they start moving it in. That'll be dumped in by Kachuk, who's got the hat trick in this game. Back for it is Gonchar. Dropped it. Drury intercepted. Drury looking middle. Shot. Oh, what a save. Save. He can't believe it. Blake, the Minnesotan, who also had a penalty shot, denied again.
You talk about hog tying your man. <laughs> not going to let him go around a second time. Russia trying to find a little room here to open it up with 350 left. Again, Kovalchuk winding up. Kovalchuk down. Dumps it off the fire side. Chelios over to get it. Chris Chelios sends it out of the zone. Taking away Kasparaitis. And Russia trying to get a line change behind the play. So Gonchar sends it in. Klee coming after it. Klee will pay a price. He gets hit by Chubarov. And held in. Gonchar shot. That got blocked in front. Oh, oh what a Chelios. play. Chelios had to reach back in on the Fedosankov. Set it deep. Team USA is the champ here in St. Paul. Into the middle. Chance for the break near side. Helprin. Helprin coming down the chute. Helprin backhands it. It goes wide. Langenbrunner cuts his man off. Jamie Langenbrunner. Russia. Rizgalov in net looking to the bench. Turned back into the middle. Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk got it in. Is Kovalev. Kovalev looking. Kovalev. Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk lost it and escapes. Helprin came in. Langenbrunner reaching. Langenbrunner got it away. Kachuk looking for four goals. Kachuk. Lost the shot. Kovalev. And Brzgalov will head to the bench. Right in Kovalev. Sends it in on net. Ash. Oh, Ash almost lost that. Almost came out of his glove. Extra skaters on the ice for Russia. Empty net at the other end. And turned into the middle. Oh back into save made by Ash. Oh, oh my deflection. goodness. Break me down. Oh. A deflection on Ash. Empty net. Four times. There's only one unstoppable man in this building tonight, and he is wearing number seven for Team USA. Yikes, Mike Madano did such an incredible job of keeping his balance when he could have been hooked to the ice to spring Keith Kachuk loose for his fourth goal of this game, not his fourth goal in a tournament. Begins to look like USA Finland Friday. And now we can crown the MVP. Keith Kachuk, a four-goal game. The last player to do that was Mario Lemieux at a four-goal game in the Canada Cup in 87. Five points for Keith Kachuk. A absolutely, line. absolutely an unbelievable effort by that line. Unbelievable line. Chris Galoff is back in net. Into the middle way, two on one. Doug Wade shot. Chris Galoff will make the save. This Russian team refusing to go away right down to the final minute. But Team USA has got a 5 3 lead on a four goal night by Kachuk. The goal coming at 1905, Madonna and Rafalski the assist. Madonna's got four assists in the game. I really meant it when I, when I said earlier in this game that the commitment by the veteran players early in this tournament just wasn't there for Team USA to be good enough. Well, I'll tell you what, the commitment has been there and redoubled in this game. 17 seconds left to go. Not a sellout crowd here tonight from 17,218. I have a feeling on Friday, Tickets are going to be a little harder to come by. Now that fans know Team USA is going to be playing here. Three seconds left to go. Here's the roar. US wins it. 5-3. Сборная России имела хорошие шансы на выход в полуфинал. Но тройка Мадана, Гирин, Качак перечеркнула все надежды россиян на продвижение в следующий раунд. Стоит отметить, что Кит Качак оформил покер в этом матче. Последний игрок, кому удавалось такое достижение на данном турнире, был Марио Лемье, забросивший четыре шайбы в ворота сборной СССР в финале Кубка Канады 1987 года. Спасибо вам за просмотр. Если вам понравилось это видео, то ставьте лайки, подписывайтесь на канал и увидимся в следующих видео.